Here are five really important things to know when you're trying to get rid of parasites. I'm Dr. Shelley and I have a bunch of videos on parasites and yes, parasites can live in your body. They can wreak havoc on your health. And there are certain ways that you can get rid of the parasites, but there are five things that are really, really important to know when you're doing a parasite detox. So if you wanna know more about where parasites came from or what kind of problems that they can cause, I encourage you to check out my other videos about parasites. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you these five really important things. The first thing you need to consider is if you're taking a regimen of supplements to help detox the parasites out of your body, then it's really important to take them without food, so on an empty stomach. And you also, if you're taking any medications or other supplements, you also wanna take the parasite detox products without those either. So the best way to do that is to take them right when you wake up in the morning, take the parasite remedies when you wake up in the morning and like right before you go to sleep. Taking them on an empty stomach is more beneficial. It's going to work a little bit better because if, especially if you have the parasites in your gut because the parasites will eat the components of the product and that will kill them. But if you're taking the parasite remedy with food, the parasites are probably going to be eating the food Maybe they'll eat some of the components of the supplements. It's just gonna be more effective if you take it on an empty stomach. The second thing you need to consider is you wanna take the parasite remedy before bed, if possible. I said take it in the morning and take it at, you know, right before bed on an empty stomach, but another reason why taking it right before bed is important is because parasites tend to be more active at night. So when you lay down to go to sleep and your nervous system and your digestive system go into this resting, digesting mode. Um, your parasympathetic nervous system is helping you sleep. Everything in your body kind of slows down and calms down and it gives these parasites an opportunity to wake up and party and yeah. Definitely take the products before you go to bed because if they're up and they're active and they're eating, you're gonna have a better chance of killing them with these products than if you take them in the middle of the day. The third thing you wanna consider is you need to make sure you're going to the bathroom every day, number two. You're pooping every day, at least once, twice, three times, if possible. This may go without saying, but if you're trying to kill off parasites in your body and you're not going to the bathroom to get rid of them, then the toxins that they release when they die are gonna start making you feel really sick and you're gonna have like this die off or kill off reaction and you can actually feel worse before you feel better. Just make sure that you are going to the bathroom one to three times a day at least. And most parasite protocols, part of the supplements that you'll be taking have, there. it's not laxatives, but they have components of it, certain herbal components that will help you go to the bathroom. Every company that has a parasite protocol knows that if you're not going to the bathroom, you're gonna feel sick when you start killing off the parasites. So make sure you're going to the bathroom. The fourth thing that you wanna consider is what you're eating. So if you're eating a really high carb diet, uh, meaning pastas and breads and you know, things like that, or if you're eating a lot of sugar, sugar is a carb, then you're causing a lot of inflammation in your body and it's just going to slow down the healing process. Some people believe that the extra carbs are what the parasites live on, what they, what they feed on. And although that is partially true, they do feed on other things. But if you can keep your diet, like a very low inflammatory diet, so basically no sugar, you're gonna have better results. The last thing, the fifth thing that you need to consider if you're trying to get rid of parasites is don't stop your protocol sooner than you're supposed to. Parasites usually take a really long time to handle completely in your body. Sometimes um, some of my patients will, will send me pictures of what they see in the toilet because you'll act some of them have actually seen parasites, like worms in the toilet when they go to the bathroom. Their automatic feeling is like, oh, it's out of me. I can stop this protocol. I don't have to take these supplements anymore because the got the parasite out and I feel great now. The problem with that is that if you started a parasite regimen, so you had a reason to, you 
you either got tested and knew that you had parasites or you were just having symptoms of having a parasite. Once you start that protocol, it's a really good idea to stay on it. Sometimes it's months. I've had people on protocols for a year and a half and it really just depends on the person. It depends on the parasite. But parasites reproduce. They lay eggs and when the mama parasite is killed off, which is you know, maybe what that patient saw on the toilet, there's those toxins that are released into your body and they, those toxins also cause the eggs that they laid to hatch and those little baby parasites grow up. So if you stop taking your supplements, you stop taking your parasite regimen and those little baby parasites grow up, you might actually end up sicker than you were before you started your parasite program. And that's why if in doubt, just take the protocol longer than you think you need to. The best case scenario would be to find a nutrition practitioner or a practitioner who knows about how to handle parasites and just follow their recommendations as closely as possible because you really don't wanna mess around with this kind of thing. If this is the first time you're hearing about this, I promise you they've been around for a long time. Parasites are not anything new. The medical community doesn't have many ways to handle parasite parasites living in your body unless it's a serious infection they have some anti-parasitic drugs but those can make you really really sick also some of the most successful treatments for parasites are actually natural herbal remedies i have friends all over the country that use like the absolute best parasite supplements that exist um, if there was a better one we'd be using that one but we have some of the best companies making the best products and the results are pretty, pretty amazing. So just keep these five things in mind if you wanna get rid of the parasites living in you. If you're wondering if you have parasites or if you have questions about what supplements to use or anything more specific um, to you in your case, then check out my other videos or leave a comment below, reach out to me. Uh, this is what I do and I'd love to help you. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.